This is, I think, your first public appearance um, since uh, reports last week emerged about the UAE planning to use COP28 discussions with foreign governments to strike oil and gas deals. I wonder if you could take uh, advantage of this briefing to explain to us exactly um, what, what did happen, whether that, that occurred and whether you personally might have been involved in it. Okay. No, knowing that we are only one day out, I wasn't really planning on answering such a question. But you know what? I will answer it. And please, hear me out. I'll be very clear, crystal clear, for you, for everyone in the room, and for those who are online. These allegations are false, not true, incorrect, and not accurate. And it's an attempt to undermine the work of the COP28 presidency. Let me ask you a question. Do you think the UAE or myself will need the COP or the COP presidency to go and establish business deals or commercial relationships? This country over the past 50 years have been built around its ability to build bridges and to create relationships and partnerships. No one in this world has been able to master the ability to create win-win relationships and fruitful and productive partnerships like this small country and this young nation. I promise you, never ever did I see these token points that they refer to or that I ever even used such token points in my discussions. One other point. Every meeting I have conducted with every government or any other stakeholder has always been centered around one thing and one thing only, and that is my COP28 agenda and how we can collectively, for the first time ever, adopt a mindset that is centered around implementation and action to keep 1.5 within reach. Now, sometimes I am told you need to engage with governments and with oil and gas companies to put pressure. And sometimes I'm told you can't do that. So we're damned if we do, we're damned if we don't. So please, for once, respect who we are, respect what we have achieved over the years, and respect the fact that we have been clear, open, and clean, and honest, and transparent on how we're going to conduct this COP process.